Hello friends, welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Sumit and I'm a subject matter expert with Python. This is my another video in Python machine learning and the topic for today video is to implement decision tree in Python. So let's try to understand what exactly decision tree is and how we can include decision tree in Python using scikit-learn. So decision tree is one of the most frequently and widely used supervised machine learning algorithm and it can perform both regression and classification tasks. The intuition behind the decision tree algorithm is very simple but also it's very powerful. Decision trees are assigned to information based based learning algorithm which uses different measures of information gained for learning and for each attributes in the data set the decision tree algorithm it forms a node and uh, though, so first of all we would be creating the the most important attribute is placed at the root node For evolution, we start at the root node and work our way down the trees by following the uh, corresponding nodes like we have interior nodes and we just validate based on certain condition, we would validate it. If it satisfies the condition, it, move, it moves toward that node, else it moves to the another node. And this process continues until a leaf node is reached which contains the prediction or the outcome of the decision tree. Actually decision trees are very close to re and real life and we use decision tree multiple times in real life but this is the first time we are going to see decision tree how to implement on a data set. So let's consider a scenario where a person asks you to lend them a car for a day and you have to make a decision whether or not to lend them the car. So there are several factors that helps determine your decision and based on them, based on them after we uh, validate those decisions, then we decide whether we should provide them, uh, whether we should provide, we, whether we should give them our car or not. So the, the first question we can ask by ourselves is that, is that person a close friend or just an uh, acquaintance if the person is just an acquaintance then we'll simply decline the request and if the person is friend we will move to the next step and if the person is asking for the car for very first time so we lend them the car otherwise we move to the next step so there are certain steps which we which helps us to decide which helps us to read up to a certain decision or to a specific decision so the same functionality we are going to implement on our financial data set <clears throat> but before moving on to that let's try to find out let's try to know some advantages of decision trees so there are several advantages of using decision trees for predictive analysis it can be used to predict both continuous and discrete values they require relatively less effort for training the algorithm and they are quite fast as comparative to KNN or any other uh, classification algorithm so these are some advantages of decision trees now let's try to implement the decision tree on our financial data set so let me show you the data set first of all we have this financial data set and here we have a category we have a type new column called type and uh, I would like to know that if we add a new revenue and cost of revenue so based on that to which category it will belong to so based on certain prediction we would be going to test it and uh, so first of all let me get let me open my jupyter that's my jupyter notebook interface and i'm going to import some libraries here and the packages i'm going to import import pandas as pd import numpy as np import metplotlib dot pi plot as plt that's a plotting library and now we would be importing data set so i write data is equal to 
pd dot uh, let's say i'll use data set data set is equal to pd dot read underscore csv and my data set name is financial data one dot csv financial data one dot csv and uh, i'll write data set dot head so we read the data and we got some we, we got top four records now uh, i wanted to see their shapes so data set dot shape and its shape is number of columns number of rows and number of columns so we have 924 records include with 24 columns and uh, using this command we display top five records now we would be preparing the data and we would be preparing the x and y data to be apply the decision tree classification on that data set so we would be preparing the test data and training data and we would be applying the uh, decision tree classification onto it so i create x is equal to data set and uh, my first requirement is i would be i would be getting the revenue and cost of revenue so for this I just write before this I just write data two is equal to data set revenue cost of revenue comma type uh, let's add one more profit as gross profit we have cost of revenue and i will add gross profit as well gross underscore profit so i'll just add that column as well gross underscore profit comma type and the data gets stored into data2 so i write data2 dot head and we have respect we have data from respective columns now in x i want to keep all uh, in X, I want to keep all numerical data or statistical data. So it contains all the columns except the type. So I write X is equal to data two dot drop, and I would be dropping type from here and uh, excess is equal to one and uh, y is equal to data to type let's execute it we got x dot head we just tested so x dot head we have revenue cost of revenue and gross profit and y dot head it shows only type to us now uh we would be going to the next process and we would be using the scikit learn sql learn model for training and to splitting the data into training and test data so i write from sk learn dot model underscore selection import train underscore test underscore split and we create x underscore train x underscore test comma y underscore train comma y underscore test so we are uh, we would be distributing this data into training and test data dot split and split and uh, i would be passing values x comma y comma test size test underscore size is equal to 20 uh, we can increase up to 30 or i write 0 0.20 it means 20 percent of data would be for testing and 80 percent would be for training if i if we increase the size then, uh, uh, this will also affect the results. So 30% of data will be in 
testing and 70% will be in training. So I'll just go with 20% in testing and I set random underscore state is equal to 100. So I create some random states and let's execute it. SK learn, S K L E A R N. It's a case sensitive and it makes sure that the train underscore test underscore split. So train underscore test underscore split. And we got X underscore train. So I write X underscore train data. That's our training data. So 70% would be uh, here. 80% will be training and 20% will be in test. X underscore test. You can see the number of columns. We have 739 rows into training and uh, 185 rows into test. In same manner, we have Y test and Y training. Now we need to implement the decision tree functionality. For that, we will be going to import another library from scikit-learn. So from sklearn dot tree import decision tree classifier and classifier classifier is equal to decision tree classifier and I'm using criterion model will be guinea criterion is equal to guinea random underscore state is equal to same number of random state as we have this we have used for uh, distributing the data into training and testing data maximum underscore depth is equal to four so it would be testing up to four depth so the decision tree it would be creating four child nodes and minimum simplification leaf would be five so i have minimum underscore samples underscore leaf is equal to five and we test it So it's a case sensitive language. So make sure I'm just repeating again. Make sure that the syntax you are writing is fine. It's correct. And we have the we implemented it. And now I'm going to fit the training data X training data and Y training data into classifier. So I write classifier dot fit X underscore train comma Y underscore train and we execute it and we can see the result would be class is class weight is done criterion is guinea max depth is four and uh, weight fraction leaf is zero random state is 100 splitter is best so we got this result and now I want to predict the value so my requirement is I want to put a prediction and I want to predict that while I providing the while I'm providing the revenue cost of revenue and gross profit to which category it belongs to which type it belongs to and the type here we have four types let me add a filter and uh, we have four types here types is basically we have uh, one two three four and uh, type one belongs to computers and mobile accessories and type two it belongs to computer and so on so we have four categories look for select all and product categories we have computers mobiles computers home appliances and mobile so we wanted to test it so here I'm just testing it so I just use a predict function classifier dot predict and we would be passing value so I'm just passing the values some dummy values for testing comma
and it should be equal to it so it would be 5521 minus 1452 that would be 4069 so it should be 4069 and when we execute it you can see it is predicting to array 5 so it means it belongs to type 3 product category so that's the prediction now I write y underscore y underscore predict is equal to classifier dot predict x underscore based on the x test value and y underscore predict so this response as the prediction so based on the text value this would these would be the prediction now I wanted to find out the accuracy store and in order to get the accuracy store we have a function call learn dot matrix import accuracy underscore score and I would be printing the accuracy score so print So I write accuracy is, I'm just testing the accuracy based on the test and the prediction. So using the prediction and the test value, we would be finding out the accuracy for it. So accuracy underscore score using y underscore test comma y underscore prediction multiply by 100 because it's for all random sticks and the accuracy is 38 so it means whenever we perform operation whenever we perform some test so 38 percent uh, 38 percent uh, will be getting the result accurate 38 percent and uh, I wanted to find out some confusion matrix for it so I write from sk learn dot matrix import classification underscore report comma confusion underscore matrix and we would be printing I just write print confusion underscore matrix using y underscore test comma y underscore prediction value and double matrix. so this is the confusion matrix and the confusion uh, the classification reports so we would be printing the classification reports using the same prediction and test classification underscore report y underscore test comma y underscore prediction and as you can see out of 185 test the total number of tests we have done 85 and that's the precision that's the recall and fi score is 32 so 32 percent so around 38 around 40 percent of average of total we are getting and uh, for so in <clears throat> so we'd be getting 32 percent support for first category 40 percent for second category 59 percent for third type and 54 for fourth type so that's how we get the prediction so that's the predicted value we can get the predicted value here we can find out the accuracy store as well as we can create the confusion matrix which helps us to predict and it's predicting that out of 185 tests we have done our algorithm misclassified only very less numbers and we will, the accuracy will be 40 between 40 to 30 32 percent in every category so that's all in this video if you have some questions related to today's video you can post your comments in comment box you can connect with us for customized training on python thanks for watching have a nice day